this is normally the moment in the event day where I think I pull away from my house and I'm like, what did you forget? I definitely forgot something. That's a given. I just have to figure out what it was and how crucial it is to my day. But nothing's coming to me off the top of my head. So I'm trying to just focus on being positive. Uh, the weather is very gloomy right now. It's rainy. It's a little bit warmer. It's warmer than it usually is in December. It's, it's pretty rainy. So Loden is probably going to be a bummer. I, I never know. It's hard to guess how rainy weather is going to affect turnout. Like it could go one of two ways, either it's rainy and so people don't want to leave the house and so they don't come or it's rainy and so people are looking for indoor activities to do and so they come to the market so we'll have to see i think the turnout will probably be good regardless like this is a this is a good market it's a good group of vendors so i feel good about that but um i just wish <laughs> i just wish i wasn't gonna have to haul my, all my stuff in in the rain because like my labels for my products are not waterproof so if they get wet they're ruined. So most of them, everything that I am hauling in is mostly covered, but I'm just always nervous that like something gets like a drop of rain on it and then I have to pull that from the display. So I am psyched because the venue had an extra eight foot table that they're letting me use for free. And uh, that saves me a lot of hauling and setup to just have the space or like the table ready for you. and. It's a wooden top table, so I I might not have to do a tablecloth, which would also be really nice. But yeah, it's a little bit more space than I usually have with my folding table, so I'm excited about that. Monday morning. I was so tired at the end of that market. It was such a good day, but I hadn't been sleeping great the whole week leading up to the market. And then I was on my feet all day at the market and I got home and was so physically tired that I, I was like, oh my God, something's wrong with me. But I was just, I'm just like so behind on sleep. So I fell asleep at 7.15 that night <laughs> and slept all the way through which felt really good, but it's also why I missed a day of Vlogmas. I just couldn't, couldn't make it happen. And I, that will probably happen again this weekend because it's a two day market and there's just no, there's no way that I'm going to be able to get out ahead of that. So just, I'm just accepting it. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself. I was, I did a lot of work on Saturday, so it's okay that I missed that. But I did want to come and tell you some like, nitty gritty details about how the market turned out it was as you can see that space is so beautiful like the people who manage that space and own the space are just their taste is impeccable they create such a wonderful vibe for everyone who's there and it was a really fun group of people so aside from how much fun i have i did have a good sales day it was not as good as last year which i think is sort of the theme for this year last year people i think were just excited to like get out and spend money and go shopping and do stuff and and I think it was still sort of in that like not post pandemic but you know what I mean like that phase where people were wanting to do a ton of stuff and this year has almost been like the pendulum swinging back the other way and um so with that in mind like having this be a little bit lower of a sales day this year I'm okay with because I think that's just sort of the reality of the situation but the way that i track how much money i'm making is that even if somebody pays me in cash i do log it into my square because it sums up the sales for the day and i just like having those numbers so even if the money comes in different ways this one hub to have all of that information i find really helpful so that's what i was using for this 
I had 55 transactions. And I think that it's helpful to have that number in mind because it's a good reminder that you don't need hundreds of people to stop by your booth to have a good sales day. You can like start to reframe what do you actually need in terms of the number of people that stop and make a purchase to have a good day. And 55, I think is like lower than I would have assumed. So 55 transactions, my total revenue was roughly $1,330, which again, really good day. I'm really happy with that. And really the main costs for the day, it was $50 to vend. So I paid that to the owners of the venue. And then my cost of goods sold for that many items, I did go through transaction by transaction and total up which I've never done this before, but totaled up like, here's what they paid for the product and here's what the product actually costs. So now I know my profit per transaction. I should be doing that more often, but it is kind of a pain. 1330 for revenue, minus $50 for the venue, minus cost of goods sold, approximately $290. That gives me a profit of just under $1,000. That feels really good. And it is nice to have both of those numbers because before you factor in your cost of goods sold, that number, it's not a real number because you can't, you don't know how much of that you've already spent on the materials that you use to make the products. So I really like having this number now and I'm going to have to, really going to have to start doing this post market for all of the markets that I do because I think it'll, it's the kind of information I really need to have on hand as I make financial plans down the road. But I'm definitely happy with that, especially considering I have a big two-day market coming up and then another two-day market later in the month. I did get to talk to some of the other vendors there who have done Renegade Craft Fair, which is my next one. And she said, it's so many people, like bring everything you can because there's just so many people coming through. So I'm going to try and make as much inventory as I can between now and then. And my assistant is obviously going to do a lot of that, but I'm going to start packing up as things get made so that I can just keep a tally of everything that I can bring and see how it goes. Hope it was fun to get this little peek behind the scenes at my first holiday market of December and stay tuned for more videos. <laughs>